Welcome everyone. My name is Dina and we'll get started in a couple of minutes. Whether you're watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or Periscope, you can use the comments to say hi and let us know where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear where you're joining us from, so let us know. One note is that this broadcast is live and public, as are your comments. We love hearing from you and may display your questions and comments during the broadcast, so send them in. I know Nava is our author tonight, is excited to hear what your real ability is, what makes you special. Go ahead and leave a comment letting Nava know and we'll check back in later. So let us know what your real ability is, what your strengths are. And let us know where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear where you are and uh, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. And we are excited. So uh, welcome, everyone. Hi, Lily. Thank you for joining us. And hello, Larisau. Love having you guys on. Great to see you. Boy, see your picture. Uh, so uh, thank you all for joining us and a welcome again to everyone who's just tuned in. My name is Dina Zuckerberg and I am the Director of Family Programs and we are hearing from Alicia Marquez uh, who's joining us from Coachella Valley in Southern California. Thank you. Welcome. And hi, um, Kim, thank you for joining us. And Larissa from New York City, how exciting, yes. Uh, so uh, I am the Director of Family Programs at MyFace and MyFace is the leading nonprofit dedicated to changing the faces and transforming the lives of children and adults with craniofacial differences. For nearly 70 years, MyFace has worked with patients and families to advocate for and provide comprehensive team care so critical to their overall well-being. Every day we work to deliver support, education, and raise public awareness. So thank you again to those that are joining us. And we'd love to hear where you're joining us from and what you think your real ability is, what you think your strengths are. We are super excited to welcome tonight's speaker. But first, I wanted to tell you about our final virtual event of the Virtual Summer Series. It's going to be a very special virtual My Face music recital featuring some of our incredibly talented uh, youth who are an active part of the MyFace community, including Zion Joy de la Cruz, Ezra Khan and his sister Zahava, and Logan Ryman. Having heard them perform before, I can say we're in for a real treat. You can RSVP to receive invites to the MyFace Virtual Summer Series at myface.org slash summer series. And again, let us know where you're joining us from and what you think your real ability, what you think your strengths are. And now uh, I'm excited to um, introduce um, our author of the evening, Nava Silton. Nava is a developmental psychologist. She has worked at Nickelodeon, Sesame Workshop, and Media Kids, and has consulted for Netflix, Luke Cruz, and you, and the Autism Seaver Center. She appears regularly on Fox 5 News as a psycholog uh, psychological correspondent, and has appeared on Good Day New York, Good Day Street Talk, and NBC. Nava created the Real Abilities Educational Comic Book Series, which offers 15 comics and two instructional manuals for use in classrooms across the world. 
and has now been translated into Hebrew and Spanish and is currently being translated into Chinese and French as well. And she also created um, Addie and Uno, which is the first musical, a, a family musical about disabilities, Bullying and Kindness, which ran off Broadway for uh, over 18 months. And we actually had some of the My Face kids come and see that performance, which was really amazing. And most recently, she has created a, parent, a parenting podcast entitled A Cup of Java with Dr. Nava, I like the name, and a YouTube channel with her children that's gaining traction. Jake, Joe, and you explore something new. And I actually did watch a couple of those episodes. Your kids are great. So thank you. Thank you, Nava, for um, joining us. Thank you so much for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Dina. Yes. And we actually have somebody joining us, uh, Norlo, from Washington State. So we have people from all across the country joining us. Great. That's very exciting. Um, so I'm excited to have you read your book uh, and to everybody tonight. Um, but before we do, can you just share what was your inspiration for writing the book? Absolutely. So I have uh, two nephews on the autism spectrum. And both are incredible, incredible guys with beautiful, beautiful talents. Um, and autism is one part of who they are, but there's so much more to them. And when I asked my older sister um, about my older nephew um, and asked her, what could I do to be helpful? What could I do to be helpful to you guys? Uh, what's the hardest part of um, the disorder for you? And she said, the hardest part is that people treat my other kids, they, they interact with them, they, uh, they have a bunch of fun with them and they treat Ellie who is on the spectrum like part of the wallpaper. They don't take the time to get to know his special strengths and the wonderful things about him. She said, if you could change that, if you could have people better see the beauties of difference and, uh, and recognize the strengths of these individuals, that would be an am amazing thing to do. And that really was my main inspiration behind my series. I love that. And I, I couldn't agree more. So mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, and can you um, tell us a little bit about the characters, introduce us to some of the characters? Sure. Yeah, sure. And I can give you a bit of a visual too. So, um, and you'll see that if you saw Addie and Uno, Addie and Uno the off-Broadway musical, the characters look similar, a little bit different in puppet format. But here you can see the cartoon figure of the characters. So over here is Uno, who's on the autism spectrum. And he is uh, brilliant in math and he has wonderful spatial orientation skills, but he struggles with social emotional skills. He's a bit introverted and he sometimes echolalia, has echolalia. He sometimes repeats what other people uh, say. Um, and he, you know, he's pretty concrete and detail oriented and less of a sociable kind of guy. Um, then we have RJ who has cerebral palsy. Um, so he has a physical disability, um, but he has incredible strengths in a number of areas. He's a great athlete. He loves uh, science and rocketry uh, and astronomy. Um, and then we have Seymour. He has a hearing impairment. He has a hard time hearing, um, but he has wonderful visual skills. He can see more. So his name is Seymour because he can, has great insight and can see a lot of things that other people can't see. Uh, and then we have Ezra, who's a uh, typical friend uh, who doesn't have a disability, but he's a wonderful friend um, and is a great, uh, a great support to his, uh, to his other peers. And then we have Melody, who has a uh, visual impairment. So she has a hard time seeing. Uh, she has low vision, um, but she has a gorgeous voice and she has perfect pitch and melody. So she has a great ear uh, for music and for a whole bunch of other things. So those are the main characters. Um, and you know what? We'll go right into the book, okay? So now that you've met them, you'll get to see them featured right here in the book. So we are at a soccer game, and let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. All right, kids, gather around. Ezra and Greg will be captains for today's game of soccer. Yay! Aw. Okay, Ezra, pick your first player. Hmm. I'll pick Joey. Come on, Greg, pick your next player. I don't want any of those clowns. Greg, your behavior is unacceptable. You need to apologize. 
These kids can't do anything. Look at them. You know what, Greg? I bet these kids could be fine soccer players if you gave them a chance. You want them so badly? You can have them. All of them? Yeah, all of them. And we'll still beat you. I doubt it. Come on, guys. You're on our team, the winning team. Sorry about him. We're used to it. Mathematically, we have the advantage. What do you mean, Uno? More players, more power, win. That's the spirit, Uno. We need a plan, Ezra. I can help with a plan. What are you going to do, Melody? You can't see anything. Dude, back off. I have pretty good hearing. Plus, we are using a soccer ball with bells inside so I can follow it. And the radios by the goal help me too. Yeah, right. I think if we apply the principle, how's that going to help you play soccer, Uno? So because Melody has a hard time seeing, what they did was they put bells in the ball so she could hear wherever, whenever the ball is near her. Okay, so the really wonderful supports that you can do when someone has a disability to make sure they can participate in sports and a whole bunch of wonderful things along with you. They do this with baseball, a whole bunch of different sports. All right, guys, chill out. I think we will win. How can you tell, Seymour? I can see it in my head. What? I am good at seeing things that other people miss. What good will that do us if you can't hear us shout, please? I wear a hearing aid. It helps me hear. I wasn't always deaf, you know. Really? I got really sick when I was a baby. The sickness and fever made me lose my hearing. My grandma always said that when I lost my hearing, I learned to focus on my other senses. Your grandma's right. All right, team, take position. Okay, we're getting back to the soccer game. Let's see what happens. Woot! Melody. All right, Uno, work your magic. 30 degrees to the right, Melody. So Uno is helping Melody know where the ball is by doing the mathematics to let her know exactly how far away the ball is. How did you know where the ball was, Greg says? How did you know where it was? Uno's math really helped. Yeah, bam. Halftime, go get some water if you need it. Everyone's doing great. Thanks, dude. We're trying our best. You guys are doing a really great job. Just because I'm blind doesn't mean I don't know what is happening. Even though you can't see, your other senses make up for it. I think I have a good ear for certain things and a rocking singing voice, says RJ. Anyway, we're still not winning, Ezra. I'm telling you, we're going to take this game in the end. I don't, still don't see why we should believe you. I really think it's going to happen. Trust me. Got any ideas, Uno? Uno? Sometimes Uno doesn't talk. Uno doesn't talk. Ha, 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 ha. Don't laugh. Sometimes people with autism repeat sounds or words others say or copy gestures. When we talk, it can remind Uno of things. Sometimes Uno re will repeat things he's heard from songs or TV. Uno has autism? What does that mean? Is he sick? How did he get it? It's not like having a cold. You can't catch autism. We're still trying to learn why people have autism. Well, those math skills sure helped us out there, buddy. He's happy to help. Whoop! Back to it, kids. All right, so they're planning out their strategy together. They're using Uno's math. They're using all of their special strengths. Let's go team, bam, goal, no way, victory. What a great game. Thanks for including us, Ezra. Thanks for helping us win. We couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, we're just that good. RJ, what? My grandma will be so proud to know that I scored the winning goal. We all should be proud. It's going to be totally awesome playing soccer with my dad now. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, some sports are hard to play when you have cerebral palsy, but I loved being the goalie. 
Well, now that you're a soccer champ, maybe he'll want to play more. Ezra, you really helped us out today. Without you sticking up for us, we wouldn't have been on anyone's team. Yeah, thanks for giving us a chance. It's the right thing to do. Everyone deserves a chance. No one should be bullied because they're different. You're just like a superhero, Ezra. With all of the real abilities that you guys have and kindness, you guys are like superheroes too. Let's make a deal to always use our abilities to help others. In. I'm totally in. Excellent. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That's the last page. Okay, so this book has 12 comics in it. That's the first one. That's where they all meet one another. And then they have 11 more adventures in this, uh, in this edition. So uh, you'll see all the exciting adventures they go on. Thank you, Nava. That was really great. And I, I must say, um, I don't know if you know, and, and I know some others obviously don't know, but I actually was born with a hearing loss. So I wear, yes, I have hear nothing on my right, and I wear hearing it, hearing it on my left. And um, so I can, I can relate to some of what um, you were talking about in that comic. And I think it's really wonderful that you've written this um, because I think so many kids with all kinds of different abilities can uh, totally relate to what you were talking about and about bullying and not being so kind and how to be kind and all of that. So I love the message, so thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I just want to remind people uh, to let us know what you thought about the book, if you have any questions, uh, and we'll show them and answer them on air. And also letting us know what you think your real ability is and what your strengths are. And maybe I'll ask you, uh, Nava, what you think your real ability is, and then I can answer too. I think that um, creativity and kindness are the two things that are really important to me. I, I really like looking outside of the box when I'm trying to solve a problem and think about multiple solutions to a problem, kind of divergent thinking. So that's the creativity part. And the kindness and empathy side is uh, another you know, aspect, another kind of superpower that I really, really try to emulate for myself and for my kids and for those around me. Well, I, I will say, having known you for a while now, you really are a uh, kind soul. So, oh, thank you. Uh, As are you, Dina. Thank you. Uh, so, I think what my real ability would be is that um, I too, I think, are um, a kind and empathic person. I think um, because I have had my own. Uh, I wouldn't say struggles, but I, the challenges, I would say, in my life, I think I, I, uh, I bring that to my being more empathetic for others. And then I would also say probably, uh, what would I say my other real ability is? Maybe that's what I'll just stick with that one. I think that's that a really good one. It. Yes. So, uh, and can you share a little bit about uh, who the audience is for your books? Sure, great question. So both for the comic book series and for the Off-Broadway musical, my goal was really to um, have individuals with disabilities uh, showcase really favorably, um, both in the comic book series and in the Off-Broadway musical, and also to have the audience not only be individuals with disabilities and their families, but also typically developing individuals, those who are neurotypical, those who might be have a great opportunity to meet these friends of theirs with differences and have a better sense of what their background looks like, what their special strengths might be, what some of their struggles might be. Because I think knowledge is truly power. And the more that you know, the more you can welcome these wonderful people into your life. And again, realize that disability is only one part of who they are. They have interests and they have hobbies and they have beautiful strengths that you have a chance to share with them. Yeah, one of the things when I go into schools and I talk to kids, I always say that it's important to get to uh, to get to know somebody. And I think I should also add that I think a lot of what fear comes from is not understanding something. So not understanding somebody's difference, and so getting to know them and, and getting to and asking maybe 
can you share with me what you know about your difference or about what you know how do you hear when you are hard of hearing and then they can talk about where i'm hearing it and i think once you get to know somebody and also not only just what the differences are but also what the common th uh, things are like both loving soccer or both loving to play video games and i think that really um, makes a, a a big difference in terms of and i think it is okay to ask questions i mean i don't know what you think but i think it is okay there's a yeah. time to ask questions but i think it's okay to ask questions i think you know i think a, a beautiful smile and a nice question goes a long way if it comes from a good place a, a, a pure place of interest um, and wanting to understand more i think it's a wonderful idea and i actually um did a lot of research and the research showed that what I did was I shared videos and material with people where I, just like you said, I, I shared information that was similar about individuals, the things that are a little bit different, also peer strategies, how to handle different situations that might come up and special strengths. And that combination of those four forms of information really were the most impactful. So a hundred percent. I was wondering, and, and the research that you did for your book, did you talk to a lot of different kids? Or? Yes. Uh, yes, actually, the um, the comic book series has been in over 20 schools all across the United States, and we've actually done used pre and post tests to see uh, that uh, we've really been able through the comic book series to change a lot of attitudes and a lot of intentions towards kids with all sorts of differences. Um, we actually, our next series is about mental health disorders, so we're taking it to to that place next because people ask us to. Uh, this book covers um, 13 different disabilities. Um, but absolutely, we spoke to kids all over the United States and uh, we spoke to them before they read it and after and also before they saw the musical and afterwards. So we've really gotten a whole lot of great information from these wonderful kids. That's wonderful. And uh, can you also uh, share, because I know you have five kids of your own. Yeah. Uh, so I'm yeah. sure they keep you quite busy. <laughs> uh, can you share how you talk to your own kids about um, when they see somebody who's different or about uh, kindness and choosing to be kind and that? Yeah. I tell my kids, you guys are wonderful investigators. You have this wonderful opportunity to get to learn about the special strengths of everyone in this world. So however someone might look or if they need a little extra assistance with hearing or seeing, or, you know, everyone has beautiful strengths. Everyone has beautiful superpowers and abilities to share. And you guys are the investigators. You're the ones who get to, through conversation and getting to know these wonderful people, you get to see what their special strengths are, what your commonalities are, and what kinds of things you can enjoy together. So I, I they love that idea of getting to be the investigator and really getting to, uh, to love people for every part of who they are. And I love the idea of being an investigator. I'm going to share that with the kids when I talk to them because I love that. It's a great concept. It's a great, and they can totally relate to that. I know when I was a child, I loved investigating things. So, yeah. Uh, and I think we may have a couple of comments uh, that will be coming in. Uh, as a reminder, uh, I just want to let people know that we have two real ability drawstring bags, which are behind you, right? Um, yeah. uh, and we will be uh, offering them to two lucky random winners pulled from those who RSVP for the virtual summer series. And if you didn't yet, you can still RSVP online at myface.org slash summer series. So do um, do that because those bags are great and you guys will love it. So do let us know and uh, you can still do that. And we have uh, from Mitchell, my daughter's real ability is her positive attitude. She never lets anyone stop her. I love that. I, I'm a huge fan of grit. I love when people have this insatiable interest in uh, persevering and not letting anything stop them. So that's really beautiful, Mitchell. And we have from Sherry, my real ability would be my curiosity. I think it's wonderful to know how people feel, what they think. When we know more about people, we can understand more. That's oh, absolutely. So I love true. that, Sherry. Yeah. 
Uh, and Chris says, my availability is creativity, just like you, Nava. Nice. I like to find new ways to use technology for good. Love Great. that. Especially Great. in this day and age, that's so helpful. Yeah. Um, so let us know again what your availability, what your strengths are. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, Nava has a, I can say, a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom to give. So, uh, and uh, I was wondering what your next steps for these series is. Yeah. So a, a bunch of different exciting things are coming up. So um, uh, now that we have the Omnibus Collection, that's the first 12 comics. Um, we, uh, again, have been testing them out in many different schools. If any of you are interested in having them in your schools, definitely feel free to get in touch. The kids really enjoy them in schools, and it goes along nicely with uh, curriculum specifically for third through fifth graders if, you are, um, if you're interested. Um, but next up, we are working on a comic series about mental health disorders. So we already have three comics written about anxiety, depression, eating disorders, um, and specific anxiety disorders. And now we're working actually on schizophrenia, bipolar, um, and borderline. So we're really getting into different mental health disorders. Again, this has been because people have really asked us to delve into that because that's a little bit aged up. So that's, um, while my this comic series is mostly for seven to 11 year olds, um, the next uh, step is for 11 to 15 year olds. So the mental health uh, comic series will be for 11 to 15 year olds. We are also creating a Real Abilities video game. So that's being created as we speak. So people can feel feel what it's like to have some, some specific strengths and some specific struggles. And I don't want to give away what the uh, video game is about, but it's really fun and really exciting and uses some pretty cool technology. So I think you'll really enjoy that. Um, and we are trying to get uh, uh, Addie and Uno, which is the, uh, the musical based off of the Real Abilities comic book series. Uh, we're trying to get it ready for TV. So that's next. That's the next exciting. Yeah. yeah. So I have a few TV shows that I've worked with, and uh, this will hopefully be the next one. Yes. Having seen Adi and Uno, and I love the puppets, and I love the um, whole idea behind it and the messages. So I hope everybody gets to see that as well. And a lot of our kids, I know, loved it and really related to the different characters. So um, we did actually a Q&A after the performance. So. Yes. Uh, our favorite, my favorite part always is the show, but then afterwards getting to meet the kids and having the kids have an opportunity to speak to the puppets and ask questions. So really special. Yeah, that was really fun. Uh, I think I was, last thing I was going to ask, do you have any characters in any of the books that have a facial difference? We do. Um, in our last comic of the series, in this book, you will meet two characters with facial differences. Um, and the I don't want to give the story away, but the story actually has to do with a chess competition. So in this book, you will see uh, plays, you will see chess, math competitions, all sorts of dances, all sorts of things are going to be in this book. And in the very last comic, you meet two wonderful girls with facial differences. Um, and so uh, definitely uh, check out the last uh, comic in here if you're interested in that story. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think if, and if, any, if there are any last minute questions, let us know. I think we're getting close to uh, wrapping it up. Um, but this has been really um, fun. Uh, okay. And uh, I, my last question, I think, is, what are the uh, two or three takeaways you would want everybody to take away from today and from your books? I think that I would love people to think about how empathy and kindness and uh, getting to know other people and being those investigators are really the superpowers. If you go through life with those superpowers, you are going to be so successful and exceptional out there. Those are the things that really matter. Intelligence is really important, grit, hard work, all of that's really important. But to lead every day with kindness, to wake up every morning and say, how can I be even better today? How can I improve who I am today, even more so than yesterday? I think that is a true ability. That is a real ability. And if everyone can think about that every morning, that would be a great take home. And especially when you meet people with differences, they have so much to share, and it's our great opportunity to get to learn from them. So I hope we all have an opportunity to do just that. 
Thank you so much, Nava, for um, joining us today and reading your comic and for, um, for a great conversation. And I just uh, want to say that it's been an absolute pleasure and we can't thank you enough. So um, I just want to say that if you don't already own the book, uh, the comic, the Omnibus comic book series, uh, you can order it online at realabilities.com on the shop page. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon.com, so uh, I encourage you to do it because we only heard one of the many comics that are in there, the many stories. Uh, and we hope to see you at our next event on Thursday, September 3rd, which will be a concert recital with Logan Ryman, Zian Joy de la Cruz, Ezra Khan, and his sister Zahava Khan. And again, having seen these kids perform at a talent show, which I think, Nava, you came to. Amazing. Uh, they are, I can attest, they are indeed amazing. And it's something you guys will really want to see. So make sure you tune in for that. And you can, and don't forget to RSVP at myface.org slash summer series for the email reminder. And of course, to be entered into the uh, book, I mean, uh, to the drawing for the bag that we are uh, giving away. So make sure you do that by tomorrow morning. And I cannot, again, thank you enough. And so much. Yes. And have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.